Hi, I'm Jake from Jair Crafts, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be—I'm going to be teaching you how to make a duct tape wall. The supplies you're going to need are scissors, an exacto knife, and a ruler. I already have all the pieces of tape cut out, so I'll give you the dimensions. You're going to need eight nine-inch strips to make a regular wallet. Um, I already have them cut out, so. Like, so I'm just going to get started right into the tutorial. So I'm going to start picking up pieces of tape up. One down, sticky side up, and the other. You can only see four strips here. I have the rest over here on the end of the table. And you're going to lay them down so you have, you're overlapping about a centimeter. So go press that down, and you always want to go from the center out. Okay, and then if you want, you can flip it over. And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back and forth with this one. So I'm just gonna place the white now. And now, what you want to do is you want to go, and you want to do this for the rest. You're gonna notice that you have two sticky parts here on one side and then you flip it over and on the other side. So for those you can either trim them off with scissors or fold it over, which I'm going to do, and just slowly fold it over and then from the center out, push down. Uh -huh. Then you're going to flip it over and do the same thing. So the edges on this wall are not that clean as you can see. There's Easy. This is the wallet, and then this is the extra stuff from sticking it on. And same thing on the other side. It's different, different lengths. And so, you're gonna take the scissors. I prefer using scissors because it's easier to cut through many layers of tape with scissors than an exacto knife. So you're going to cut in a straight line across this, across the fabric. As straight as possible as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just as straight as you can. Okay. And take the extra that can be thrown out. And now do the same on the other side. And then, and then we all have, on the mail yet. All we have to do is fold it in half, close the edges, um, so we prevent money from coming out. And then we're done. And we just have to make pockets. So do that now. So. Now that you have the, the edges nice and clean, okay, you're going to fold it in half. Now pick a color, any color really, white, and cut a strip about four inches. I like using four inches so you have a little bit of wiggle room so you can, like, you mess up, you still don't have to rip the, pe you, have to, you don't have to rip the wall apart, you just, You can just fix it using the same piece of tape. So you can either use two pieces of tape to close the edges so bills don't slide out, or you can use one. And I have a trick for cutting pieces of tape in half. And that is, you take your knife and make a little mark on the top with your knife in the middle of the tape, and the same on the bottom. Then take your ruler and connect the lines with the top and the bottom of the ruler and then make sure it looks pretty straight if you messed up a little on the top and the bottom just fix it a little and then go down like this and there you go you have half or a quarter or whatever, whatever you wanted to make out of that now for this I'm going to be putting a piece of uh, roll of duct tape on it and I'm just going to put a couple on it. You're going to stick it halfway on top part, fold it down, then take the tape off, fold it over and this is when you want to make sure the top and bottom are lined up. Then you're going to push down on the wallet, fold it over and push it down. Okay. Now, do the same for the other side. 
And then I'm going to, if you don't want any pockets, you're done. Good job. And you just have to fold the wallet in half. And it's pretty rectangular. You can make it square if you want. Change the dimensions to 8, eight inches strips instead of 8, 9 inches strips. So you have to just close this edge. And if you don't want any pockets, you're done. If you do, just stay, and I'll teach you how to make the pockets. So, if you don't want any pockets, good job, and congratulations, you made your first or second duct tape wallet. So, now, you're going to learn how to make the pockets for the wallet. And it should look like this. Okay. You have the billfold for money. Money should fit. And now, what you're going to do is take a credit card. This is my library card. Um, so I'm just going to take my, my library card and I'm going to lay down the tape. And lay it across your whole board because you're going to need it. And line it up on the line. You're going to want to do that. Then you're going to lay it down. Okay. And you're going to want to give yourself a lot of room, half an inch to an inch. Okay. And then you're going to just cut down and then lift this piece up. And you want them to be pretty much the same length, so you're not going to use the card again for this one. You're just going to do this. You're going to lay it down under it, so you have this, the pocket, the one piece of tape you already cut for the pocket, and now you're going to lay it under the whole roll of tape. And you're going to cut, again, the same length of tape as the first pocket. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be a little off. So now, this is kind of like making the duct tape bookmark. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put the piece of tape down, take your other piece, and you're just going to try to line the tops and sides up, and you're going to stick it on top. Stick it on, and then I'm going to use my library card, center out, center out, and you can see you want to get this so there's no stickiness up here, no stickiness up here, and on the sides you're going to have a little stickiness unless you're really good at sticking pieces together. And there you can just take your scissors and cut that off, and then cut the other side off. Now, if you give yourself enough room, you should. You should be able to fit the credit card in it, like this. Okay? If you can't, then do the little extension part I told you, to, I taught you how to do for the wallet. Do the same thing, but do it for the credit card. Okay? Now, I need two pockets, so if you want, like, two, three, four, however many you want, you just complete this step as many times as you want, like four times, if you want four pockets. And when you're done, come back and I will teach you how to attach them to the wall and then you're done. So now that you have finished all of your pockets, I already have the strips cut out. You're going to take a strip that's about the length of a pocket. Don't go too off because you want it pretty close to it. So stick it down on one end and pick the cleaner side, the factory cut side, because that's usually the nice, that's nice cut, not usually, always is the nice cut, because the machine made it. Then you're going to stick it down, not a lot, maybe a half a centimeter, and then fold the rest over on the other side, and now you just made a brim, or a trim, and that makes the top nice and smooth, okay, so it's not hard and then cut the extra off. 
Okay. And now I just have to cut a few pieces out. So now you're gonna you're basically going to make another pocket using the same length. So you're gonna use the same length, cut it, then pick it up, cut it in half using my method or your method, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. Down the center, down the center, line it up. And now you're going to take your pocket and you're going to stick it down on the bottom. And this you can put on halfway, I would say. Put half the thing down. And that wasn't a very good piece. So it wasn't very straight. So I use the other piece that's more in line. Line it up. And I would suggest putting the factory cut always on the wallet. It just makes it look nicer. It doesn't interfere with the credit cards then. And so now you're going to take your wallet and you want to make sure you have a good crease on it. And you're going to take it. Make sure you have the brim, not the big side where you fold it all, it all over. The small side right here. And you're going to stick it down. If you have multiple pockets, you stick one on the wallet and give yourself a little room on the bottom. And then you'll stick the next down and the next and the next and the next until you get to the bottom of the wallet. But now, we're just going to line the bottom of the tape up with the bottom of the wallet. Put it on. There you have the bottom lined up. Okay, you can fold it over if you want. Now you just have a little bit left to go, just 30 seconds really, okay? You're just going to cut a piece of tape, um, usually by the end of ma me making a wallet, I don't want to be exact anymore, so I'm just going to cut a piece 8 inches long, I will definitely have enough room here, and I might even rip it. I usually don't rip duct tape, but like this. It doesn't make the cleanest cut. I like to go with the smaller piece. I go with the smaller piece, bigger piece to the side. Smaller piece. You're going to stick it on the wallet with it, and you're going to put it so it goes all the way down and make it pretty straight. Half on. Half on, half on the wallet, half on the pocket, and then you can flip it over, and then cut that off, and you're going to take the other side of the wallet, and then the pocket, and you're going to attach that. If it's a single colored, like a solid color wallet, you can fold it over on the other side, and then you really won't notice it. I guess I could fold it over, because it's white on white. Now you have the pockets attached. Just cut this off. And there you go, you have your pocket. And see, you have credit card fits. You can close it up. Good job. This is your first, or second or whatever, how many walls you've made. Um, hopefully it turned out well. Um, please subscribe, comment. Um, so, bye.